women receiving heavy judgment in a civil society. Jacob's trouble shall humble many. Want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders who taught me this truth through the Spirit. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessing to the one third. And to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth shall warm. Judgment has been rampant here in, in, in the society, especially over here in the West, for women and us being, you know, um, scribes and and seers over Israel. We look, we look and sift through all the news, but as of lately, I've seen a lot of judgment that's been happening to women from all aspects of life, from all nations of life. But I'm going to open up with Isaiah 32, verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So in other words, it's going to be very diverse and hardships, very diverse hardships for you. Okay. Now, a prime example you know, just going through some of the judgments that's happening. And this is all of the Lord. The Lord brings for judgment every morning. So this is um the Georgia mom mauled to death by a pack of aggressive dogs that targeted her kids days before Mother's Day. Right? What teeth of wild beasts. I don't know this woman from Adam and Eve, but what I do know is that the Lord cast judgment. All judgments goes through the, um, the, the the eyes of the heavenly father through his only begotten son right so I have some more now I don't know if you heard about this but um, there was a guy that pretty much man strangled a woman in, what, in Bronx New York with a belt walked up behind her like late night drug her strangled her and then they say he sexually he assaulted her or, or graped her right it was crazy is that the lady didn't even report the incident, but she ended up getting arrested on something else. But somebody that saw it, saw the incident, they posted the video on the Internet. And then that's how the dude ended up getting caught. But it only happened because she got arrested for something else. Wild story. Nonetheless, this is a woman that says she don't know this man, but she's seen him around in the neighborhood before. And what's even crazier, if I'm not mistaken, this man is. Is, is Mary? Man, this is just, a, but this is, goes back to women receiving heavy judgment in a civil society. You know, and pardon me too, because I've been under the weather heavy for the past three or four days. Like crazy. So I apologize. But nonetheless, though, uh, we have to do all things for the elect's sake. Yeah, so this, so this is what happened to this woman. Once again, in a civilized society. That's the whole emphasis on this video not judgment happens every day but i'm talking about in a civilized society where women can dial 911 where men can dial 911 where children can dial 911 what happens when that day come and you can't dial 911 like that song said back in the 90s who can i run to Shed is this who can you run to in Jacob's trouble? Oh, we can run to Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. The name of Yahweh by Shimei, the names, I should say. But the name of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai is a strong tower. The righteous run there into it, and we are safe, roughly paraphrasing. But let, it, let go, let continue. I want to make this too long. Check this out. Atlanta Black Star, not worth taking someone's life. Dang. Is this in Bronx again? Wait a minute. Yeah, man. Boogie down. Bronx is boogieing down. So this great happened in Bronx. And also, listen here. Our, our people are out of order. They're out of whack. But we're under heavy curses. But I, I always say, you know, I love my people. I just hate their ways, you know. This could have been one of my daughters or something. You know what I'm saying? Could have been somebody niece. You know what I'm saying? Close to me. Nonetheless, though, this is what's happening in society, man. There's no fear of the Lord. There's no brotherly love. There's no um, affection. You know, truth breakers. Everyone's lovers of themselves. Just the bockerists. Me, 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 me. Ain't no we, 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 we. And they ain't speaking French either. 
you know. Going back, Bronx High School senior stabbed in chest multiple times over social media beef as other teens looked on. What the hell are you beefing over social media for? And then on top of that, we're living in a society, oh man, they're over there fighting. Let me pull out my phone rather than try to break this up. Same thing with her getting stabbed. And they just looked on. Like, they ain't got nothing to do with me. So imagine, this is a civilized society. Wait until all hell breaks loose in this Jacob's trouble. Them same people that's like, they ain't got nothing to do with me. They ain't nothing to do with me. Imagine, God forbid, but I'm saying, imagine one of them young women in the, in Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying, like they was yelling and screaming in the alley. You think somebody going to come help them? No, because even in a civilized society where you have camera, you can call for emergency units, ENT and all of that, people still won't help you. So who going to help you in that day? That's why faith is so essential to you few sincere, caring Enduring sisters, stay prayed up and pray that the Lord have you within the vicinity of a man of the Lord and humble yourselves. Because at the end of the day, you're just one. In, how about this? I'm going to say this. On my, I'm just one individual out of eight billion on earth. But Yahweh Shai still chose me to understand it's true. But I'm still only one person out of eight billion. You think the majority of these people care about me outside of the elect and the and the, the hopeful elect and the one third? No. That's why the scripture says, pray ye pray for one another, can now all men have faith. You let alone women too. In general, mankind. Right? Now another article. Suspect accused of slashing an 11-year-old girl needs NYPD officers to protect them from angry mob. They wanted to get out here. They were calling him pieces of shit and all of that. They were like, don't let him go, yada, yada, yada. Think about this, though, all right? Lady get mauled by a pack of dogs trying to protect her children. Woman walking to her friend's house gets strangled and graped. Young girl gets stabbed multiple times over Twitter beef or whatever. People look on. This dude slashing... An eleven-year-old girl in the head, and I heard uh, if you're reading the article, it's it said that he was standing behind a young girl. She said she felt something. To look behind, he had a box cutter, and she was bleeding. And her mother started to chase the dude, try to weigh down the conductor, but he got away. Nonetheless, though, they caught him. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's crazy. Isaiah 32 and 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. A girl sackcloth upon your loins. Hey, check this out. This reminds me of um that song, Don't Save Her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. I want to be. So the thing about that is when you look at a woman that's loud, aggressive, masculine, very assertive, uh, want to be alpha, not alpha, want to be alpha and all the other things. You don't need a man because you're already a man. All the difference is that you have a female's anatomy. Right? But a woman that's soft, that's timid, that's very feminine, that's dainty, what a man will want to protect that because he knows that that woman can't protect her. Even a woman that thinks she's masculine can't protect herself. What I'm saying is you will be more than willing to protect that woman. I know, I know that feeling, having a five, three and a half, 135 pound, soft, dainty woman. I know, I know what it's like to have in your possession. You overly possessive in a sense, like, I'm sorry, protective, like walk on the inside of the, I make a walk on the inside of the, um, on the sidewalk. I'll go inside the store. What you going to do when I get out? Lock the door, lock the door. Where you going? Now I'm going to the store with you. Now I'm walk. That's just, that's just how I always am. Cause I know this society. Women don't think about this world like men do. Cause we built it. We know the dangers of it, the ins and outs of it. Just like how my ex always thought that everyone was so kind and so, so, so pleasant to her. I'm like, yeah, because for one, you're a female for two, you're attractive. And for three, you're very feminine. But every time they find out you got a man, what they do, they leave you alone. Women don't understand. The only concept of you being created is to be a help meet for a man. And then that also goes back to what? Procreating, which is sex. Hey, Jacob's trouble? Women, think about this. The few sisters who's listening. May you how about shimmy, I was shy about shimmy, be with you. But women that don't believe, they don't understand. 
A man snatch you up, beat you, overpowers you. Then he inserts himself in you and then he releases in you. Sadly, do, sadly, you don't want to stand. You could be nine months pregnant right there. Who the hell going to want to help a nine month pregnant woman in Jacob's trouble? Women don't understand how vulnerable they're going to be in that day. Then on top of that, you don't know who the man could be, who the father could be. You may never meet and see that man again. I'm thinking about the worst possible case scenario of all aspects, not just for women, but for men, too. Because even though we live in this crazy society, and you will have men that be chained up and they will be sexually assaulted, too. It's going to be a wild game out here. And Lord willing, we get it. We get all the cheat codes, right? Another one. Illinois man charged with hate crime, attempted murder and shooting the mother of two whose sons are breed of verbatim black. In other words, this is a Caucasian woman, Edomite woman. She's been living next to this dude for almost 10 years and he's been harassing her and her sons. Right. It's more than likely the father's Jake. He called a nigger lover, call them niggers to their face. She'll he'll fire off shots in his yard. He'll toss lit fireworks between the houses and everything. And one day he just went crazy and started shooting up in the house. Ended up shooting her in the hand, I think in the arm or something else like that. Then he barricaded himself in the house and then the negotiator convinced him to come out. This is the world we live in. But for 10 years, she been living next to this. So in other words, you got people that you've known for years. They don't even like you. They may not express it, but he let it be known. But they may not even like you. Now what? Your neighbor looking at your daughter differently? Hell, he may be looking at your son differently. Oh, yeah, that seller you told him about? That doomsday broker you told him about? With his, with his family starving and all this and that? Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. But my daughter, she, she's, she's hungry. What about mine? I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Best believe it. And another one, she's pretty too. Beloved teacher killed by man and tragic murder suicide. She made everyone feel like she was their favorite person. That's the worst type, man. Murder suicide. Because the suspect, the suspect and the victim are both deceased, and you really don't get a clear understanding of why it happened unless there have been evidence left behind, a memoir, whatever the case may be, man. But she her life was taken. And they say she was very. They say she was very lovable. She was a high school teacher. She was. She was. She was very motiv- motivational towards the students graduating. And so you could tell she's one of those modern women that's really like straight. You know, how should I say, progressive. You know, very um enthusiastic and and boom, gone just like that, just like that. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be wild out here. And Isaiah four and one. And that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Wow. This is going to age well. Because in the era of, I don't need no man. <laughs> what does Lord said? Seven women shall take hold of one man. Seven. I don't want no woman in these last days, man. If anything, may how about she might shy keep me close to my mother or my aunt. Other than that, I ain't work. Listen here, seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to make sure that you get a seat on that chariot before the next person. Like like a plane going down. America's a plane going down, and you got to put the mask over your face first. But women are gonna be more than willing to. They, they're gonna be kamais in that day. They are going to be kamais in that day. You know it. Man, do not trust these women in these last days. The Book of Eli. I love that movie. When that woman was standing out there, when she saw him, she didn't hesitate. She tried to lure him in. But he said, one thing you know about um, not taking a shower or whatever, you can smell such and such from a mile away. They're like, boy, you're good. But what happened later on in the movie? Because remember, that lady, she was handcuffed to that basket. So the luring men, right? But when a young girl saw her and she was handcuffed, she ran to help her. What did she say to the young girl? No, 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 please, no, go, go. A woman's chained 
to a basket or whatever, she a car or whatever. And a young woman running to her to help her, and she's telling that young lady, no, 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 something ain't right. Lo and behold, she almost got great, but he came and saved her. That's what it means by seven women shall take hold of one man. Because he told her not to follow him, and what happened when she followed him? Well, you know, mishaps happen, getting caught up, getting shot up, but he ended up making it through it all. We don't need any we don't need to be burdened with something that's burdensome already to begin with. But nonetheless, to to, to 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 be called by a man's name, that means that you become that man's wife. How do you become a man's wife according to the scripture? Sex. So what's the number one commodity gonna be in these last days for women if they want anything from a man more than likely? Something that's sexual. Nonetheless, I'm going to close out Isaiah 32, 1 through 2. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as in height and place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. It's like a tornado or a hurricane as rivers of water in a dry place on oh, an oasis in the desert as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Or well, in other words, getting up under that getting up under that tree and getting a nice breeze hit you in the, in the dead of summer, right? <laughs> so anyways, with that being said, pray out at Fine Fair Salakia for, um, for not being able to post the last couple of days, but I'm back. And with that being said, Yahweh Bashim, I was shy by Shiru Kagadash, Barak HaBacharyam, bless the elect, and please keep us in your graces because these last days is going to be crazy. Stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endear it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Kwa Allah. Mufla Babal. Shalom.